Essa não vale, Jolly. Oh, lê Money, money. Oh, lê Smile on my face when she texts back. Say she don't wanna play games. Nobody find past you tonight. Quite the eventful uh, motorbike ride there. We crashed into a car at one point. Are you coming with me? Hey, I go follow you All now. Right, let's go. If you have malaria sickness with you, then you can take this. Does the driver have malaria? Maybe he has it. After doing things like this, <laughs> you don't just make him smile with an handshake. Uh, you, make me, you make his pocket smile. I'm sending five bag a day. So we're very lucky to come here then. Sure. What country do you want to go to? Anywhere country. Anywhere, <laughs> Anywhere you carry me go, I will follow you. Anywhere. You see the stress I'm passing? What's the stress? The amenities that are meant for the masses. Are you meaning corruption? It is rich in resources, it's got Africa's biggest population, and it's enjoyed democracy since 1999. But kidnappers are demanding money. If you pay ransoms, kidnapping continues. Over 100 students kidnapped from a school in Nigeria's Kaduna state. Armed groups have killed more than 36,000 people in the past 10 years. The only way to end kidnapping is for society to take a stand that we will not pay. Burdened by inflation, economic stagnation. Despite being Africa's largest economy, it does have high unemployment at more than 33%. Credible and disturbing evidence that Nigerian security forces shot and killed at least 12 people, taking part in peaceful protests last night in the country's largest city, Lagos. A city in chaos. Across Lagos, buildings have been torched. Mass kidnappings, attacks by armed groups and criminal gangs, corruption and a lack of jobs. So where does Nigeria go from here? Nigeria. Many people would think of scammers, kidnapping and violence when they hear the name Nigeria. But how frequent are such events? Shall we go, put our feet in the dirt and see what it's like for ourselves? I think so. Africa's most populous country. <laughs> no one for kidnapping, for ransom. What's the price? The price of this one is 1,000. Money, money! Oh, let us <laughs> go. A city in chaos. Yes, I'm watching. Don't have words. Okay. Demoralizing. Hello, sir. Welcome back to Lagos, Nigeria. We're here at a train station, so we're gonna go and get a train. We're going to a city called Ibadan. It's inland a couple hours. The train situation in Nigeria is very interesting. You can see it's a big, brand new train station and the trains are modern, it's only a few years old. But in some areas of Nigeria, there's been some instances of terrorism on the train tracks actually. Only a couple months ago, there was a train traveling and some terrorists tried to shoot the driver of the train and then they blew up the train tracks. The reason for this is that the bandits actually kidnap a lot of people on the road there and the train was a safer option. So the kidnappers weren't able to kidnap people on the roads and take ransom as they used to be able to because now this train system is a safer option so they tried to take it out. The train did stop running for a while but it's running again now. The city we're going to is actually the largest city in Nigeria by land mass, not by population. It, by population it's the third biggest. So let's go and see what the train's like. Yes, we could. Yeah. Okay, so we got a bit of a situation. Uh, apparently the train left uh, an hour ago and the one we wanted to get was at 10 o'clock but it left at 8. We were told by somebody that it was going to leave at 10 but apparently not. Anyway, we're going to have to go by road so we've met a nice driver here and maybe we'll try and get the train later.
So it's only the middle of the day, and how much time do you think we've spent in traffic today? Wow. <laughs> Unestimable. Right. <laughs> Smile on my face when she texts back, say she don't want to play games. I respect that. No lies, man, I'm telling you the truth. Everything mad, gonna pull up in the goons. She rock boys and fucking with the goons. Big grass, that's money at the roof. White tea, black hoodie, you see the sauce, big swag, bang coolie. Speak up, who's hating, what's goody? I've been a boss, star boy, chat up. She said bad man, you make me feel so fine, fine, fine. Every look of wine, say now perfect wine, wine, wine. Nobody find past you tonight, nine, nine. Say now me and you go this, you get no time. Time, time, balance it to. Oh my oh baby, balance it to. Oh my oh baby, wine it to. Eh. Oh my oh baby, wine it to. Eh. Oh my oh baby, balance it to. Eh. Oh my oh baby, wine it to. Eh. Oh my oh baby, balance it to. Yeah, yeah. You got skills. Yeah, yes, yeah. After doing things like this, <laughs> you don't just make him smile with an handshake. Uh, you, make, you make his pocket smile. Okay, then he we'll, smiles. we'll come back to that. Nigeria man, as soon as they cost everything, you go come back, you go come back. Cool down. <laughs> Good now, very soon you both come out, leave us here. <laughs> now, very smart, you yourself, yes, 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 you go do something for them. Yeah, yeah, make him yeah, smile. Yeah, I yeah, believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Insane vibes here, like some people shouting at me, saying master a lot of the time, calling me master. And uh, yeah, just generally people shouting and chaos. Hey, guys, how Ah, this is my job. <laughs> uh, what's, what's your name? Soya. Soya. Yeah. Nick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you're sewing okay. here? Yeah, I'm sewing here. And this is a good business for you? Yes. Yeah? Yes, yeah. And you've been running this shop for a long time? Yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. I've right. been running it for more than uh, 12 years now. 12. 12. Uh, how old are you? She now, me. Yeah. I'm just uh, 43 now. Young man. Yeah. 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 All right, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. You too. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. So a lady was just standing on her balcony, and she uh, pretty much invited us into her house. So we're gonna have a look. So this is uh, way too cool. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice how are you, you doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, fine. Okay. What's your name? Yabo. Yabo? Yeah. Okay. I'm Nick. Okay. You're nice welcome. to meet you. Same here. Nice house. This is my humble oh. villa. Okay. Let <laughs> yeah. me just uh, take the cutting. There's no light, so. You're so friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, this is my husband and my two boys. Oh, okay. Yeah. And are they working at the moment, or? Yes, I'm working. Okay. Yeah. You're working? Yes, he too is working railways. Oh, he's in the railways? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's the chairman of this community. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So we're very lucky to come here then. Yes. Sure. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And a beautiful view you have. Thank you. Does your family own this house? No, it's um, a government and property. Oh, it like comes the, with the job? Yes. Oh, okay. Exactly. And how long have you lived here for? Maybe like 16 or 17 years now. Oh, a long time. Yeah. Wow, it's very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Like the wallpaper. And so how is life? Life is like, we're like coping, yeah. managing the life. So you say, say you're coping, so it's difficult? Life is um, difficult here. And why is it difficult? I don't know, maybe because of the situation of things and um, the, the economy, yes. Oh, the okay. economy here, so poor, really? too poor. So you have to work extra hard. Extra hard. Right. Like I just came back from night duty. Oh, right. I work in the hospital. In the shift. hospital? Yes. Oh, you are a nurse? No, not a nurse, an attendant. Attendant. Yes. Okay. So you worked all night? No, she worked all night and now she comes back to in the morning. Uh -huh. So um, then she has also a shop. She's a tailor also. Okay. So when she's not at work and uh, the official work of uh, the nurse in the hospital, so she works as a tailor. So you can see this is her. Yeah, her yeah, setup. So two jobs. Why were you so kind to us to invite us into your house? Why so friendly? I, I I believe you are my family. You are uh, my people, so I need to embrace you. 
Steve. Would you like to just introduce yourself to the viewers so then they know yeah, yeah, no a bit problem. about you? Yeah. Good afternoon. Um, Sunday at Edinburgh. How is it here? Is the situation we obviously just met the lovely lady? She said it's hard to cope. Is it the same for you or it's, it's comfortable for you? It has not been too easy for anyone. Right. Except if you are involved in, you know, the, the politics and all. So the people that work in politics you're saying are comfortable and the people that don't are not comfortable? Yes, they are comfortable. For the masses it has not been, you know, too easy. You have to work extra hours to make sure you are comfortable. Okay. And so why do the people that working in politics not have these struggles? Um, well, because they have the privilege to the fund of um, the you know, fund. The fund, yes, I said the fund, and the amenities that are meant for the masses. Are you meaning corruption? Well, you don't want to say it that way, right? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome, Nick. <laughs> okay. See the stress I'm passing? What's the stress? I'm passing. I'm a widow. I'm sending my children to school. It's okay. me alone. No help. It's only God. It's a difficult... See me now. I did this place some, some months ago and they are telling me to pack it now. Oh, so you're doing things on the street? Yes, yes, no. I'm right. doing it. I'm doing snacks. Snacks? Yes. Showing you what she makes. Oh, nice. Different foods. Okay. And what the government tell you to move? No, it's not governmental. It's a railway something. You know, they are... They are oh, the they, builders. Uh, and, uh, oh, okay. They are making uh, 7,000, 10,000 a wrap a day. And is that enough for your own food and your children and your house? It's not enough. No. It's not enough. So what do you do to survive? Ah, it's only God that is helping me. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Wish you good luck. Thank you. How many? Uh, Super hot here, sweating so much. Uh, we're bargaining with the taxi drivers. Well, my friends are bargaining with the taxi drivers, but I think we found one. Good, how are you? Huh? Are you coming with me? Hey, I'll go follow you All right, now. Let's go. Uh, I'll go follow you. <laughs> <laughs> He's tired of the country. Yes. Why? Too much. Too much. There is hardship. Hardship. Whatever you give him to do, he's ready to follow you. Right. Honestly. Whatever. So, what country do you want to go to? Anywhere country. <laughs> anywhere. anywhere you carry me, go. I will follow you. Anywhere country. <laughs> Sir, anywhere. Would you not miss uh, not your country? Would you not miss Nigeria and the people? Uh, this Nigeria is, 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 is worst, honestly. It's the worst? Uh, okay. I don't like this. What about, do you have family? Yeah? Family? Any family. I have family. I have family. Are you bringing them? Uh, if, you can, if you allow me to bring them. And um, if not, you leave? Uh, honestly. Okay. <laughs> In the city, they use their hands instead of the indicator, but in Lagos, yeah. they use the indicator, right? Yeah, in Lagos, they use the indicator lights right. to show the direction the car is moving. But here in Ibo, then they use their hands okay. to sh describe that, okay, I'm using this right. uh, this direction. Okay. So they're like, okay, this I'm using this direction, so that's the indicator light. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so even if their indicator is working, they Even if the indicator is working, you will still also use like hands. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Good luck. Where is Bye. 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 What's your name? Abbas. Abbas. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How's business? Are you selling chilies? This is pepper. Pepper. Very spicy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's normal, it's normal price, 1,000 price. 1,000? One bucket. Yeah. For a whole bucket? Yeah. Very good deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah nice. You, how many buckets do you sell a day? I'm selling five. One bag, one bag is, you have seen, it, 18 buckets there. I'm selling five bags a day. You've sold five buckets? Five bags. Today? Yeah, a okay. day. Nice work, man. Yeah. 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 Ye
He said he wants to follow you. Follow me? Yeah. Yes. Now oh, you're coming to New Zealand? Yes. Okay. No, I'll follow you. You don't want to stay in Nigeria? I, I don't want I don't to stay want to in Nigeria. Nigeria. Don't. I won't follow you. Uh, Why? The North Team, but I won't follow you because I like you. You like me? Yeah, uh, I like, like your hometown. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, welcome. All right, have a good day. Bye. 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 So we're just walking through these alleyways and everybody's shouting Ibo, right? Which means foreigner. Amazing scenes here. This is the old historical center of the city. And uh, some of the buildings and just the whole environment, mind blowing. What is your name? My name is Ijewuru. Ijewuru? Ijewuru. Ijewuru. Yes. Okay. And what are you selling? Maize. Maize. Mm, oh, okay. So corn. Jero. Jero millet. Millet, yeah. Yeah, this is millet. Are you happy? Uh, happiness in me. Where we are in the Orile de Nigeria. Ah. No, no market. She said no market, so. Bad business. Uh, business is low. Hello, <laughs> 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 Okay, Kenny. 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 That's one thing about it, and so um, they are so like unique. They are different from Lagos because here they like reserve more of their culture. Okay. Yeah, you can see a lot of tribal marks on their faces. What is this? They said is a uh, cure is an herb to cure malaria. It kills malaria. To cure malaria, if you have malaria sickness with you, then you can take this. Does the driver have malaria? Maybe he has it. Why do you buy? No, this? they take it. Not Regularly. So, regularly. Yeah. Regularly, so that, yeah, so that you cannot be infected. infected with malaria. And it works well? Very well. I'm not sure. Do you take it? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I grew up with all this. Right. I grew up with all this. Right. So we take it from when we are young. Maybe I should be drinking that. <laughs> yeah. right? And how much does it cost for one little batch? This is just 50 naira. 50 naira. Uh -huh. Have you had it many times? Uh, so many times, since I was young. Like how many times have you Like had in a year, I would maybe, when I was younger, about three to four times in a year. So we just came to this train station because we're trying to get a train. Then as we missed it this morning, it would be nice to experience the train experience but there's no train coming here so we've got an hour to get across the city to another train station and hopefully catch the train just in time but it's going to be tight because we have to fight through nigerian traffic <laughs> So we're getting motorbike taxis. Hello. Hello. Insane traffic here in Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
2502. Yes. What's your name? Nick. Nick. Yeah. Uh, well done. Yeah. Hey, so quite, quite the eventful uh, motorbike ride there. We crashed into a car at one point, and my guy was uh, wearing headphones singing while driving, and then this guy pulled up next to me and he wanted my phone number. So uh, I shared it with him. It's uh, absolutely nuts. Speaks for itself, I think. Take 150 to the junction. Okay. Then you take bike to that place, which is they can't take less than 200. Baba. Huh? You? Okay. How old is the driver? Well, I'm very old. Yeah. He's 18 years. Okay. So now back onto a bike after we've been on the tuk tuk. This is quite an ordeal. Here? Uh huh. This guy? Yeah, I like your hair. Thank Beautiful. you very much. Thank you. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so we're not, we're not taking that motorbike. Apparently they tried to charge too much according to my friends here, so. We're going somewhere, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Watch. So where are we going now? Hotel bike. Bike, another bike. Yeah. Attempt two. Hey, What's your name? Your name? Sodik. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. So this road that we're driving on is apparently the main road and we'll show you the train station. It's very interesting because this is obviously not the best condition road but this train station is a big grand brand new building so it's interesting right? Interesting. Right. <laughs> we're moving gradually. This is crazy. Yeah that was like a farm road and now we're at this amazing yeah. train station. <laughs> <laughs> no words to describe this train station. You saw the road that we just came on. I mean, I was expecting an old shack or something, but that's Nigeria for you, I guess. The train ticket costs 2,600. There's like nobody here. She said, bad man, you make me feel so fine, fine, fine. Every look of wine, say, now perfect wine, wine, wine. Nobody find past you tonight, night, night. Say, now me and you go to see you get no time, time, time. Balance it up. Oh, my old baby, balance it up. Oh, my old baby, wine it up. Oh, my old baby, wine it up. Please mind your step. Okay, so I made it back to Lagos finally. We actually had like over a 12 hour day today. The train was very modern and very nice, but it takes five hours and to drive takes two hours because you have to drive two hours in the opposite direction to go to this train station, the one in the middle of nowhere. And then you have to come back on the train, which is about three hours. So pretty insane really. But I think they're, you know, working on the roads around the train station so they won't be all bumpy and things soon. And hopefully the trains will be more commonly used because obviously the traffic is not sustainable and this country is growing rapidly. Not much to say about the day, it spoke for itself. Things didn't go to plan, but then we got such a, a gift in the, in the way of the people and, and the interactions. In the next video, we're going to the complete other side of the country. So things are gonna be vastly different. I'll see you in that one. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from Nigeria. Yeah. After doing things like this, <laughs> you don't just make him smile with an handshake. Uh, make me, you make his pocket smile.
I'd like to take a quick second and thank Lingoda for sponsoring this part of the video. Lingoda is an online language learning platform where you can have one-on-one -on -one or group classes with native speakers of the language that you want to learn. For me personally, I really want to improve my Spanish. I'm planning to head back to Latin America. So I really want to brush up on my Spanish just so we can have that more deep connection with the locals. So I'm definitely gonna be brushing up on my Spanish on Lingoda. What I really like is it's quite personal. It's not not through an app, it's personal classes. Whatever stage you're at on your language learning, Lingoda has a course suited to your needs. So before you start learning the language of your choice, you can do a quick test to see how far along you are with your skills of your selected language. So then you'll know exactly what lessons you need to begin with. Lingoda is very flexible. You can learn from anywhere at any time to suit your lifestyle and schedule. All you need is an internet connection and you can improve your language skills. Personally, I like the one-on-one -on -one classes. That's how I learn the best. But if you're somebody who personally likes to do group classes, that's available too. There are two different kinds of plans. There's a monthly plan where you pay monthly and you can cancel at any time, or there's a marathon plan where you can pay up front and get a cheaper per lesson fee. And if you take part in the Lingoda marathon course and complete 90% of your planned lessons, you will receive up to 400 euros cash back. If you want to try Lingoda for yourself, click the link below and sign up for a seven day free trial to try either three group classes or one private class for free as well as up to 40% off your first purchase. So a huge thank you to Lingoda for sponsoring this video and I'll see you in the next one.